On June 23, 1963, Martin Luther King came to Detroit and King participated in what was then the largest civil rights march in history. Something like 125,000 to 200,000 citizens of Detroit walking down Woodward Avenue to Cobo Hall where Martin Luther King gave the first version of his I Have a Dream speech. Two months later, he delivered it in Washington, D.C. at the March on Washington, but he dreamed his dream first in Detroit. Malcolm X was very popular in Detroit. His brother led the mosque in Detroit, and Malcolm X was sometimes called Detroit Red, uh, so that black nationalist flavor was part of the civil rights movement in that period. Detroit was really at the heart of the northern movement for civil rights in the early 1960s. It had the largest NAACP chapter in the country. It was the center for the United Auto Workers, which was a progressive union that was essentially funding the civil rights, rights movement as it swept through the South that summer. Um, it was the UAW that bailed Martin Luther King and his followers out of jail in Birmingham that summer. So in so many ways, Detroit was at the center of the movement.